Muay Thai Monday here at Precision Boxing and MMA. We're gonna be doing some head kick tips and tricks today. So, just worried about my, my mechanical form on this. So, to kick high, I'm gonna get up nice and high. So I'm gonna pick up my support heel. This is gonna give me an extra two or three inches of reach. I really wanna challenge myself today so I grab the tallest guy I could find. I'm gonna turn my upper body to pull me into it. I'm gonna come up, and then this is the closed side. So if my partner has their left leg in front, the left is their closed side, the right, their rear side is their open side. This shoulder is a little bit in my way, so my challenge to land that nice head kick is to come over and down, and right for the neck, typically. If I graze up, if you're big enough, you see a lot of times heavyweights will clip the top of the head and wobble people, but never had a ton of success with that. I like chopping down into the neck as much as possible. So up and then down, following the line of the body. If I pick my knee up too wide out here, I'm gonna, the kick's gonna slow down a lot by the time he gets there, balance is gonna be an issue, and he has more time to see it coming. So I bring my knee up and then chop it right down, pick myself up, bang, right into it. On the open side, it's actually a little bit easier, assuming I can get around that hand. I can come right up into the jaw on this nice angle, so it's a little bit easier on a taller opponent. Standard switch step, heels up, come right up and in. Okay. So then our next challenge is getting around the hands. Little hand fight battle I like to play. Don't go right away, messing with his hands, pull him down, chop him low. Showing him that his head isn't what's in danger here. Once you set that pattern, we deviate, we come up and over and clip. This works on either side. Boom, bang. Finding that opportunity. Third situation we're gonna look at is not manipulating the hands. Maybe he has a little bit lower of a, more like a punching guard. He's worried about his ribs firing here. Same game, coming down low. He either doesn't react or his hands are dropping. Beautiful, fake low, come high. Working our question mark style kick. The, my favorite way that this was described is it's like you're faking a kick to the groin. Don't hit him. Circling the foot around. As I circle the foot out and around, I'm rotating on my support foot and picking myself up into the kick. Okay, you generate a lot of the whip on the retraction of this. So I'll see people that try to cut that short and you're, you're sabotaging yourself. Getting that nice out and around motion. So I notice his hands are kind of low or he's dropping big. Even if he's starting with a high guard, he's dropping down when I'm chopping here. This is time for my question. Most people, it's easier off the rear side. If you can build the dexterity though, this is a lead side attack. I can do it no switch, I can do it with a switch, all based on the, the scenario and the circumstances going on with my opponent. So we have the, the standard head kick. Uh, he's just out of position. I see my opportunity going into one or two. We have the second option. When we're in here, we're hand fighting. You see ties especially a lot of times we're trying to get to the head, bang. And I like to give a little tug towards the kick. And then when I'm ready, coming up and over with the rear leg, or boom, coming up and in with the, the lead leg. And then last is the question mark. He's either dropping or they're just low. Show them out and around.